Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Desolation. <laughs> Super chill permadeath. Uh, today we're going to do a derelict freighter that actually has S-Class modules on it. And uh, hopefully we'll have enough time after that to teleport back to Euclid so that I can take you to the derelict at the same portal address, if I can find it. Uh-oh. I don't have the portal address. Good grief. I'll have to remember it. Okay. <laughs> uh, the first thing that I had to do was install the cadmium drive uh, so that I could have my freighter in the system. And the next thing we have to do is fly there. But first I got to go pick up some receivers uh, because there's no space station there. Uh, wow, that was super loud. Here's my ship though. Keep hearing gunfire. Somebody's shooting at me. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me. Uh, I don't see any enemies. <laughs> I've been uh, making cadmium in the refiner uh, by mixing cadmium with chromatic metal. And uh, <laughs> I was standing there in silence listening to this gunfire. <laughs> it might be an audio clip sort of hangover from the derelict uh, freighter. I don't know. Let's buy a couple of these. It's expensive to buy more than one a day and uh, so if you're going to be planning to do this like in a week or so buy a few you know buy one a day <laughs> the nest class no <laughs> We're already in the starship. I'll just uh, fly over there and call the freighter rather than land again. Save a tiny bit of fuel. Alrighty. Uh, this one is in the 19th galaxy, but the portal address is the same. Um, or the portal address for this one in the 19th galaxy is the same portal address for any galaxy. Um, and it brings you to uh, this derelict. So I'm gonna call, I still can't call my freighter? I thought this was a yellow system. I mean a red system. Oh good grief, fine, fine. <laughs> Be that way. <laughs> Maybe I'm not seeing the color right. <laughs> Maybe I installed the wrong drive. <laughs> it's possible. Alrighty. I got uh, one um, blueprint for the new build parts while I was uh, making sure that I had the right system this time. <laughs> Yesterday's was the wrong system. It was the right system for the really pretty planet. It was the wrong system for the derelict that I wanted. <laughs> These uh, portal addresses are actually published. Uh, every time someone finds a uh, uh, S-Class uh, derelict freighter, they uh, publish it. You can find it on Reddit. You can ask for portal addresses also uh, on the different discords. So we start right out in the launch tube, which is broke. <laughs> if I crawl through there, I can get to my ship, maybe. I don't think so. Is there one up there? No. <laughs> Jog faster. <laughs> I did turn up the game volume a little bit. So hope 
hopefully you can hear the creepy sounds. <laughs> Need to practice. <laughs> Too tight to get through. Yay! There's not a ton of boxes here. And if I just did the boxes alone, it would take a lot less time. another hyperdrive. I picked up a S-Class hyperdrive module on my last run. Really pleased about that since I have a new uh, fighter. Oh, my way box. <laughs> Floating boxes. might have broken the glass. <clears throat> I should look at my nanites. 8638. I think I made a lot of nanites the last time I was here. Did I get hit by the beam? Oh, I think I got lucky. I got something there. Something the game decided to stop me from from moving. piece of crate uh, lid is <laughs> very interfering. Oh, there goes my cold shield. Someone made a comment that I never uh, turn on these heaters takes extra time to turn them on. I don't plan on standing here for very long. Uh, when you're doing these freighters, don't turn on this midship's teleporter. Because uh, it raises the likelihood that you won't teleport out to the uh, exit after you're done in engineering. Okay, I got all those. That's the pink door. There is a box in there, but I don't care. <laughs> this is a uh, hundred times more creepy in first person. And uh, <laughs> I did do this in first person to check and see if it was easier to do in first person. It is easier to do in first person, uh, but it's super duper creepy. <laughs> yeah. I don't really play No Man's Sky to be scared. Dangerous documents. If you do, then do this in first person. <laughs> I get 
them both. Welcome to engineering. Oh, another bone. I got one of those last time. Another one. I'm getting lots of Hadel cores too. Those are worth 50 nanites each. These boxes have either nanites or cash in them. I don't think it's 50-50 either. I think it's uh, more like a 5% chance of nanites. <laughs> Check the upper shelves there. All right. Get out of here. Fingers crossed. We got a trade unit. Okay. Oops. I do that every time. Alright, 11 minutes, uh, 50 seconds, including all the time it took to go by the receivers and fly here. And now we gotta fly back because uh, I must have installed the wrong thing on my freighter. Let's look in discoveries really quickly because maybe I'm just not seeing it. That is clearly red. go see what the what it is on the freighter because uh, maybe I just installed the wrong <laughs> the wrong equipment did install the one that had, oops, that's the bottom, the one that had all the uh, antimatter housing, so I think that's why I thought it was the right one. Warp core resonator. Improves the robustness of the drive during FTL. That's the wrong one. <laughs> the one I want is this one. Uh, 250 more cadmium. Hypercore. And something else. here cadmium oh dear <laughs> cadmium and super oxide crystal I might have one I have one I guess I'm not doing that one today Let's put that on the freighter. Let's put that on the freighter. Look at all the stuff I've got. Uh, I'm going to keep this hyperdrive module. It's for the uh, starship. So I'm going to send that over to the starship. Here's some Hadel cores. And here's a couple more modules. Storm crystals. I'll just sort of put this in order of value here. And we'll drop the Hadel cores in. Uh, 250. And 50 is 300. And more nip nip. Now I have 
27. <laughs> I don't need bullets. Let's check the back. I think I filled up the back so no more bullets would go back there, yeah. Got that receiver left over and some slime. Alrighty, let's go sell it. Let's get my uh, chromatic metal out of here. Okay, we are at 110.4 uh, million. And I always, always get gypped, so let's see what happens this time. 1.9 million, that goes a long way to paying for that receiver. <laughs> There's another 1.2 million. You might just have paid for one of those receivers, but not the other one. And 1 million worth of storm crystals. And that, and that, and that. 117 million, so we paid for the first one and two million two million of the second one <laughs> uh nope i need to know the portal address <laughs> i knew i was gonna forget something it's okay so i have a base there i could just teleport to there <laughs> Running around in circles with my head cut off today, like a chicken, like a chicken with its head cut off. I I, I don't have my head cut off. <laughs> that would be brutal. Uh, 250 light year base, 19th galaxy, Fetone base. Every time I teleport off my freighter, it gives me that loud crashing sound. to build a teleporter. It appears as though I do. All right. Oops. Let's see if I have a power hotspot here. Nope. <laughs> Also, don't have microprocessors on me. And I put them away, but there's the two carbon nanotubes. Oops. And four metal plate. I need one more of those. it and sodium and I need some power there we go just oxygen all right there is the portal address down there in the bottom right corner <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to remember that. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up without killing <laughs> my game. Screenshots, please, not city skylines. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's interesting. Does that not want to open? There it is. Alrighty. Now I can open that. <laughs> oh my god, I have no carbon. <laughs> I have condensed carbon, but. Alright, let's go to Yaros. Yaros Colony. 
Yeah, Roos Portal. There we go. <laughs> He's a monster. This one, I'm not going to open all the boxes and crates and fight all the battles. I'm just going to um, go ahead and uh, run right straight to engineering. Oh, the portal's open. I wonder where it goes. Wrong end. <laughs> There's that purple thing right there that tells me <laughs> what the right end is. <laughs> Do I ever pay attention to that? No. I'm going to have to reload my oxygen after all of this. This uh, is the same planet that our big circuit board base is on. Well, our little circuit board base. <laughs> Activate O. Tab out. Call up the screenshot. Move it to where I can see it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we have Diplo, Rising Sun, TP, Rising Sun, Triangle, TP, Triangle, Triangle, Pi, Triangle, Triangle, Fish. Alrighty, I'm going to tab out again and shut that off. There we go. You probably couldn't see any of that, but uh, that's because I'm on uh, recording rather than on live scene. Uh, if I was on live scene, you'd be able to see that. Um, all that background stuff, the screenshot loader. <laughs> This was probably the original finder of the 250 light year uh, location, Dragstar. And we'll just turn that off. It was, I'm assuming that it was found in Euclid first. Alrighty, let's set off the receiver. As you can see, there's actually a uh, space station here, so it's a lot less bother. But if you have the matter beam on your freighter, you can transfer stuff to, to your freighter. Let's wait for the engine to cool down so I don't get stuck. Sign says derelict freighter. Thanks. All right. Unsealed door. All right. Security systems already activated. Let's go straight to engineering. I think I've been here before. Seems to me. There's a lot of boxes here. Looks 
very, very familiar. Yikes. <laughs> Getting shot. Tiny room. There we go. Getting shot in the face. <laughs> Here's the shuttle bay. I'm not going to pass this up because <laughs> I know for a fact that this is a uh, upgrade module. And where's the door? Over there. It's only B class, but it's worth nanites, you know. And since I need like, <laughs> I don't know, 150,000 nanites or something. <laughs> Now that I have two B-class ships that I need to get all the way to S-class. <laughs> I might not. I might scrap the ship that I'm currently flying. Alright, and there is the S-class uh, uh, module. It's a salvage fleet beacon. This time, also sellable. Gotta turn the SRT on before it'll work. That's the out. That's the in. That's the out. Run! <laughs> Alrighty. I think I uh, remember this because uh, that planet right there, you can see the com balls on it. That planet is just gorgeous. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, so, thank you, Draxter. I believe it was uh, Draxter that found this. And uh, thank you for publishing it. And so you guys can go to any any galaxy that you want to to do this in. Uh, Lava Lamp just happened to be in the 19th and uh, made his way over there. Um, and... Uh, So we uh, slingshotted uh, to the location, and um, yeah, so we have uh, bases there. Home sweet home! <laughs> now I just need to check and see what kind of um, modules I picked up. before I run up to an uh, uh, upgrade module seller merchant person. <laughs> there we go, back to Kufus and Fuyang for our nice bases. Let's see here, Fleet Beacon. Uh, I already checked the modules, okay. Save the game and find the base computer. There we go. This really is, for me, the least problematic way <clears throat> to throw down a teleporter on a base like this. If you have to power tons of stuff, then find a hot spot. Uh, but if you're just powering a teleporter, all you need is this biofuel reactor, because that thing doesn't need to be on all the time. Uh, let's try to remember to buy some oxygen. I've probably converted it all to carbon one time or another. Right. And up to the space station, Fu Yang 9 Prime. <laughs> Fu Yang. <laughs> and so I held back uh, two hyperdrive modules uh, and one from before I started to tape and one from after and uh, I'll use those on my ship, but that's uh, another 800 nanites worth of um, upgrade modules when you sell them. And 
and uh, they cost around a hundred nanites more to buy. Hi. <laughs> I don't know why they put their hands up like that. All right, so we have all of these, and neither one of those are important to me right now. Um, I don't even have a fleet, so we made about two thousand nanites. And if I had emptied all the boxes and crates from the second uh, derelict, probably would have made a whole lot more. Are you in S-Class? No. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Successful derelicts. Um, so, yeah, use that uh, portal address um, and uh, in any galaxy, and you will have an S-Class. And it's not just an S-Class. It's a 250 light year S class uh, hyperdrive module for your freighter. And even if you have a C class freighter with a 120 uh, light year bonus, getting six X S classes in there is going to be a whole lot more powerful than just C class upgrade modules or especially nothing at all. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming. Tomorrow we have the weekend community event. And uh, on Saturday, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably super chill permadeath. Unless uh, Last Campfire comes out, then we'll be doing that. All right. Have a great day.